the British soldiers allowed us to rest. They handed out food. Students in Britain are learning about the horrors of the Holocaust by talking to survivors without having to leave the classroom. That's thanks to cutting edge artificial intelligence and virtual reality. Amazing, I loved it. As the number of Holocaust survivors dwindles, program developers at the Holocaust Educational Trust say it's vital to find ways to immortalize their experiences and life lessons. More than 6 million Jews were murdered by Nazi Germany during the Second World War. HET Chief Executive Karen Pollock. Our mission is to ensure that the stories of Holocaust survivors are kept alive, that the subject of the Holocaust, which happened nearly 80 years ago, is um, still relevant and something that young people and future generations know about. The digital education programme, named Testimony 360, filmed survivors answering more than 1,000 questions that students may pose. It was the first night in three and a half years that my mother and I shared one room and slept on clean sheets. It then uses AI to analyse a question and find an appropriate response from the vast database of pre-recorded answers. 94-year-old Manfred Goldberg is the first Holocaust survivor to feature in Testimony 360. He spent five days recording his answers. It has become crystal clear that by far the most powerful and effective educational impact is achieved by listening to a talk from a survivor in the first person. And as I gave more thought to it, it appeared to me that this would be ideal because if they want to hear words from a survivor, that is the way to do it. It's bordered on magic as far as I was concerned. In the mornings, we received six slices of some bread. Using virtual reality, the technology allows students to explore a concentration camp and Goldberg's former home in Germany. My favourite part was using the VR headsets and like how we got to see the spaces because it was really cool as like since we're not able to go to the spaces in real life but like Testimony 360 brought it to life for us so like we was able to imagine and see everything and hearing Manfred's voice explain like these places as well just made it like a magical experience. Testimony 360 was developed in response to a rise in reports of anti-Semitism across Europe following the outbreak of war between Israel and Hamas in October 2023. Today we're seeing an explosion of anti-Semitism globally and the testimonies of people like Manfred preserving them and enabling that testimony to reach so many people in the future. That's the power of this new resource.